And welcome back uh, as a new cabinet uh, took oath uh, before President Abdel Fattah Sisi. A uh, very important uh, cabinet uh, reshuffle uh, that uh, took uh, place today. To shed more light on uh, this uh, swearing in and the cabinet uh, reshuffle, we are very much delighted to be joined over the phone by Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Ambassador Bayoumi, good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon to you. How are you? How are you, sir? Uh, sir, uh, today the uh, new cabinet uh, took oath uh, before President Abdel Fattah Sisi. From your point of view, uh, what are the most important files that are at the forefront of the new government's concerns? I, I am following the taking oath from its beginning up till now. And really, I, I, I am interested to follow what is going on. Of course, all of us, we think that we are on a cornerstone to change many things in our country. Mm. We have many challenges, whether yeah. as an ambassador, I can say, the, uh, I can see the, the challenges abroad, whether it is a war between uh, Ukraine and Russia and America and the Chinese, the problems around us in Syria and Lebanon, Gaza, uh, Sudan, Yemen, uh, all the area around us, whether internationally, and the region is not stable at all. Yes. Then we come to the internal affairs. We, uh, although I, I, I say with all honesty that we are much better than many other countries mm -hmm. in our performance, we are not affected like many countries mm. by the uh, recession in the whole world. We are still developing uh, with reasonable uh, rate of development but not enough, not covering all our needs, and especially the increase in the population in Egypt. Mm. So, uh, and, and uh, of course, I am concerned about the, the uh, prices and that the needy classes cannot face this situation. So mm. I think this, this government will make a priority here to make life uh, much better uh, and yeah. bearable concerning the needy classes, uh, I, I, I really I think this is our duty, all of us, whether mm -hmm. the government or the individual or the, the private sector also. Yes. And uh, we, we, we should show all our classes that we are interested that every single Egyptian will live up to uh, a, a reasonable standard of living, mm -hmm. that he can find his food, he can find... Uh, opportunity for job yes. and I think in the last few weeks we have seen many uh, positive developments concerning this many uh, flow of uh, uh, investments came to our country whether in the north, north coast or yes. in Swiss Canal zone and yes. I, I hope that this will soon reflect itself yes. by creating more jobs by creating more uh, production, especially in industry, more exports in order to have much more stability for our currency and for the inflation we are seeing because really it has exceeded all the reasonable uh, degrees. So I, I, I am following this government and um, I, I know personally many of the new ministers and I am more I hope, I fully hope, uh, that, that they will do the job as it should be done. Yes. And I, I am quite sure that we have the best choice we can do. Indeed. Uh, Ambassador Bayoumi, from your point of view, uh, what is the importance of completing what was accomplished in the previous government uh, to complete the development in the country? Because uh, for a very simple reason. Yes. We gave birth in the last 11 years to 27 million children. Mm. This is as much as double uh, uh, number of a country like Greece. Mm. So, we, we are, uh, mashallah, uh, I am not against having children. Indeed. But I am with to uh, prepare uh, good food stuff for them, good uh, housing for them, good mm -hmm. schools and hospitals. So uh, the, the, the challenge is that we have to increase our GDP, 
mm. our uh, uh, economy by, by three times the rate of the increase of our population. Yes. This means seven, eight percent in uh, development. But what we are doing now is around four, five percent. This is not enough, mm. and we have to double our uh, efforts in order to double this uh, number or this percentage mm. in order to make sure that we are covering all the challenges of uh, the people who are looking for uh, uh, new jobs, for mm. who are looking for uh, food, for housing, for anything, yes. for, for education, and also to cover this increase in uh, the population. So it is very important to concentrate on the development, and I see that we are establishing new, many new projects in industry, yes. in agriculture, in order to secure our food and our uh, exports also. So uh, uh, let us wait and see, and we should give them the chance to work mm. and to encourage them to do their job properly. Indeed. Uh, sir, also in the new uh, cabinet, we have uh, seen integration of many ministries and creating uh, new ones within the framework of uh, President Sisi's directives to develop the state uh, policies with the aim of matching the challenges. The importance of these uh, matching and merging of uh, new uh, ministries in order to face the current challenges from your point of view, uh, Ambassador Bayouni. This is a, a, a sort of administration organization and I, I, I can understand it of course from my uh, corner of the world in the foreign office I didn't see the, the importance of having a ministry for migrants while we have this is the main task of our consulates yes. abroad so uh, uh, planting a minister especially for uh, Egyptians abroad this is a, a double task with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and by the way, Badr Abdul Ati is very uh, active uh, diplomat, mm. and he, he knows his job quite well. Mm. And I, I am proud of our diplomacy. You can cover, of course, the needs of our uh, Egyptian community abroad. We have 11 million living abroad. They are a very good source of foreign currency. $30 billion this is the most important source of foreign currency up till now. Mm. Let us take the, uh, another ministry while it is investment and uh, uh, planning and uh, uh, international cooperation. Yes. All these ministries can be, of course, uh, dominated by one minister. You don't need many ministers to do that. Mm. Uh, uh, so uh, th this is a sort of administrative uh, organization mm. for the new ministries yeah. and the new cabinet. We hope that this will make our new ministers able to deal with the matters with a sort of coordination between all the subjects which mm -hmm. any minister is, uh, is responsible for. Of course. Uh, also, Ambassador Bayoumi, we have to mention here that the top priorities of the new government uh, are improving the services, the economic recovery, as well as boosting investments. Uh, how do you see uh, these very important priorities for the new cabinet? Very important all the time for this cabinet, for the previous cabinet. And uh, we, uh, once we ask some foreign investors, what are the things which attract you to Egypt? With, what are things which you still need? Uh, uh, the things they are uh, complaining about, it is a bureaucracy. Mm. And we have a long way to go until we finish any uh, matter dealing with the government. Mm. Our banking system, although I personally witnessed a, a sort of cooperation between our central bank of Egypt and the central bank mm. of uh, Europe, yes. I paid 60 million <laughs> Egyptian pounds yes. to finance this project to make our uh, uh, banking system up till what we, we call the, the international standard mm. of, of uh, finance and banking system. Uh, uh, b but still, still mm. I go to the bank, I spend, I waste a lot of time uh, until I finish a very small operation 
in one bank. Yes. Uh, the details are very important in order of course. that an investor is always coming to uh, count how many hours he will spend since he put the first million dollars mm -hmm. in the bank until he gets the first $1,000 uh, as a profit. Mm. How can we do this properly and effectively? Mind you that uh, I, I lived once in New York mm. where they have what they call overnight loan, mm. a loan of 14 hours. You get the loan in 14 hours, you use it, you make the profits, you send mm. back the loan. Can we do that? Yes. So we, we are in the world of competition. We have to compete with all the countries around us. Indeed. Although I must say that relatively Egypt is much better situation mm. than any other African country or Arab country, yes. but still in the international level, we have to do much more than what we are doing. Indeed. Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former assistant uh, foreign minister, uh, thank you so much, sir, for your very thank precious you. uh, input, you. uh, sir. And uh, indeed, uh, always um, a pleasure to have you with us. Our dear viewers will go to a short break, and after that, we'll be back to continue our special coverage. So stay tuned.